Hey Marcel. Hey Josh. How's it going? Oh, I'm just uh, driving, leaving Kelowna right now on the Highway 97, and I hope I don't see any cops and get pulled over. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, such. I, I doubt you will. Um, I feel like you were divinely protected the first time around, and I'm sure that protection won't leave you now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. I, I actually did remove the two big Canadian flags off my camper. So I can, you know, because like now that my front plate is missing, that's one reason they'll pull me over because, you know, I haven't had a chance to go get another one, right? Right, right. Um, so I, you know, it is so confusing to hear you talk to me about this common law because it's, it's like a whole new thing that you never hear about. <laughs> you know, you're like, nope. you don't, don't, need, don't speak legal. You are not a, you are not this, you are a man. And this is that law of man. You know, so I don't think many people actually understand yeah. this, including myself. No, and that's okay. I mean, that's the beauty of this opportunity, actually, of us working together. And, and especially what you do as something that you just love doing. You love documenting stuff. And so I think it's a great opportunity because a lot of people have misconceptions around common law. Because I talk to people all the time and they say, well, isn't common law just case? Yeah, exactly. Like that. And then there's maritime law and all sorts of things. Because when yeah. I when I did yeah. call when I did speak to that lawyer, he said, you know, that's that's a whole bunch of uh, confusion, you know. And he mentioned that you know there's so many different laws, and I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, here I'll put it in the simplest terms for you to comprehend what's going on. So the ticket is maritime law. So maritime law is all about contracts. And what's funny is. What else is associated with water? Water is actually emotion, so it's where they control us through our emotion. And we need to be emotionally invested something in order for there to be a contract or an agreement. And so commerce is actually done through our emotion. And this is where the, our person comes into play, our identity, and where we emotionally attach ourselves is where we do business. So. Um, it's a bit of a hard concept to grasp, but think of it this way. Your person, your identity is where you've emotionally vested yourself in your life. So this is regardless of within the legal system or anything like that. This is your concept of yourself emotionally. Okay. And so that is your person, that is your identity. And so all these laws play in that context. So. They, what they're doing is they're essentially playing on your conception or how you perceive who you are. But who you are is a man, nothing more. Everything else that you may perceive, your name, Marcel Ernie, and everything else beyond that is just your person, your identity that you've come to attach yourself to. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and I mean, that sounds great. I mean, that's what I, I keep saying. That's what I keep saying to the cops. Is like I, I'm a. I mean, I, I'll use that term now. I'm a man. You know, it's like yeah. you do not have control over me. I'm not your corporation. And um, yeah, so exactly. in terms of, uh, let's talk a little bit about the, what's going on with the disputing the police tickets that were given to me, and I never gave them my ID, and I was never behind the wheel of a vehicle. You know, no front plate, yeah. um, no rear flag. I mean, I had two huge. Canadian flags on the back so that's bullshit but um depends how you decipher it because you know the dirt bike sticks out and uh, obviously in four right. years of doing that I've never had an issue until now um yeah so you're well, saying that red flag thing is so weird but yeah, yeah it's just because it sticks out but honestly the sh Canadian flags are, are pretty good for that same red and you know obviously I before <laughs> yeah. I, the vehicle was not in motion I, I have to do all these no. things to it before I leave and I could have easily taken that flag which I put on my front antenna and put it back on the motorcycle, totally. you know what I mean? So even if I did yeah. dispute traffic court the normal way, it would have been thrown out very confidently because, yeah. you know what, I wasn't driving the vehicle. Um, the vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't set up to move yet. It's that simple. Like we unload dirt bikes, we do all this. It doesn't mean when I, my dirt bike's hanging on the bumper, it's ready to move yet. Mm -hmm. I have to strap it down, you know what I mean? Totally. And, and here's another thing that you bring up, and it's an excellent point, is they actually play with this through our words. And so the words that you're using, like vehicle um, and even the ticket disputing, so 
dispute means you're in an argument. But what you want to do is you want to make claims. So claims are different because you're stating facts, things that actually happen and that are irrefutable. It means they cannot be argued about and they cannot be discussed in a manner where there's uh, obscurity or confusion. Okay. So claims remove, remove all confusion, and that's why they play this game of, oh, we're disputing. You need to dispute this ticket because they're making an accusation, yeah. essentially, against you. But that accusation, they're basically inviting you to do this dance. Think of it this way. When you're in a conversation and you know somebody's trying to instigate you and your emotions, they're doing the exact same thing here. Gotcha. They're, they're pulling on your emotional strings to basically say, hey, come on, join us in our dance because you know what? We know we can make money off of you. Yeah, and that's what, exactly an emotional dance um, that's hard not to get invested in. And there's a lot of, there's, I don't know if you've seen it, but there, you know, there's a thousand comments building up on each of those two videos. Yeah. And a yeah. lot of people were like, you know, why didn't you just go outside and move your vehicle? And I'm like, holy crap, you're missing the whole point. I step outside yep. and I'm freaking practically arrested. I'm in the, at the mercy of this corporation. Yeah. Um, so there's totally. so many people that just like, why didn't you just move your vehicle? Um, and then there's a more, luckily there's 70% were saying, thank you for holding your ground. And you are a good mm -hmm. example of everyone that needs to hold their ground yep. and do not give your ID. And, and I didn't even understand why yep. at the time. I just knew they needed probable cause. Yeah. Well, and here's the beautiful thing. Your person is your property. So the only way they can give you a ticket in any form or charge you taxes or anything is if you say, I agree. I contract with you. And the moment you do that in some form or another, like giving your ID or paying the ticket or even going to the traffic court. Here's the funny thing. is by going to traffic court and saying, I dispute this, you're saying, I agreed to contract with you, but I don't agree to the terms of the contract. At the same time, when you speak of something like this and, and me and other people are listening, it's like, well, then you're going to end up still losing your driver's license because you're, you're going to have these tickets on them that you don't pay, etc. Like because they are running their but own the system and with trying to put you they're trying to put you in the system and nobody like me yep. knows how to stay out of it you know unless I go live in the woods which I've considered <laughs> well here's the funny thing is by our God-given right so as men and women we have freedom to travel as we choose now the government has taken that and given it to us as a privilege and they do that through our government ID and so by law, you do not require a driver's license of any form. The only time you are required to do uh, provide or use a driver's license is when you're doing business. You are not doing business on the road. You are conducting your life as you see fit. Therefore, you do not fall under the criteria of a driver's license. And, but like you mentioned earlier, if I'm driving and, and a cop pulls you over at a road check or just pulls you over and just wants ride, registration yeah. and driver's license, if I say no... You can say no. But yep. the consequences will be they're going to call more cops, pull me out of the car, maybe arrest you, tow your vehicle, etc. Like, there's so many consequences okay. in, in their system. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I need to share something else with you. So, I need to share something else with you because I think it's going to blow your mind. Uh, so, there is actually a way of preventing all of that from occurring. So, there is a way. To actually be able to, and this is the thing, is it comes down to the words that we use, and this is where, uh, it, and the words, think of it this way, words are important because they're an expression of a perspective or a mindset. So if we change our mindset, we change the way we interact with these individuals. And it's, it's that shifting of emotion, that uh, mental awareness, and also the way we act. So it's it's a, it can take time for this to be integrated, but I'm more than happy to share the knowledge that I have, and we can talk about this until it starts integrating, uh, because just shifting these things, oh my goodness, it makes such a profound difference, because what I'm going to send to you is a notice that I've created myself, and I've shared this with other individuals, and they've used it as well, and the beauty is uh, when you use this notice, there, if they continue, you actually are lawfully free to charge them 
uh, the fees that's stipulated on this. So in the document, uh, it, I'll walk it through you uh, on the phone here right now. So essentially the document states, okay, you need to first identify yourself, like what you said in your video. Once you've identified yourself, then uh, you must read the rest of this document. You must be aware of all that is occurring. And so in order to proceed, if you fail to uh, acknowledge yourself, you are trespassing against me, and that police officer is going to be charged at $1,000 per minute. And then uh, furthermore, so once they've identified themselves, uh, I'll just walk read it word for word. So identify yourself, uh, thank them for doing that. I'm aware that you are just doing your job and are likely acting in accordance to those rules because they have rules for their job. Yeah. Though it is important that you know I'm presently not driving a motor vehicle. Those two words are very particular. But I am in fact conveying my property. So when you are operating your property, conveying your property, your truck, because your truck is both a vehicle. So a vehicle is anything that is used to conduct business. Okay. Let that sink in. A vehicle is anything that allows you to conduct this to your person. Your identity is also a vehicle. But what you are operating is actually your property. It's a truck. Yeah. It's a car. It's whatever else other words you want to associate to it. But ultimately, it is under your name, Marcel Ernie. Even if it's under your person, it's still your property because no one else owns it even if you've registered with the government they've basically said you can be the caretaker but still it's at the end of the day your property because you were originally the individual who paid for it and so because you are conveying your property you are again speaking the words of what a man does and you're moving it or conveying it from point A to point B, which you are absolutely free to do. So pretty much, if you're yeah, aware, it's, it's my, yeah, don't, uh, don't speak of it as a vehicle registered. It's like, this, yeah. yes. It, so when the cop was there hassling me, it's like, it's, this is my property. And you know, and it's obviously it's none of your business who I am, but this is my property. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, exactly. And so uh, if you are unaware of the distinction between driving a motor vehicle and conveying my property, see the legal definitions below in yellow. And then I highlighted it. Like what is a driver, what is vehicle, and then what is law and shore? Because vehicle is only for maritime law or business. And so yeah, I clarify though, all those, and you can read those if you like. Uh, they're actually taken from a legal dictionary and directly on the most latest version. So they're up to date. And then as such, unless you are able to provide a verifiable claim, so verifiable means it must be proven as fact, and then a claim means somebody as a man or a woman must be making a statement about me in regards to any damage or harm that I've caused to them or their property. And unless you can provide that, I will be continuing on my way. Please know that I do not consent, I will not contract with you, and I will not answer any questions. Oh man, so it, it would have been, moment. sorry to interrupt, it would have been so great if we were chatting before this happened, because you know, I was, on the I, phone. Know. I was on the phone with my friend Steve and my brother, so I could have some other people listening and give, and give me advice or whatever, and uh, yeah. I could have just like, here, tell them this. <laughs> <laughs> well, for whatever reason, you were, I guess, blindly guided to yeah, have the circumstances unfold this way, and I think educating yourself now because of this is extremely powerful so and just those three minutes through those three statements alone i do not consent i will not contract with you and i will not answer any questions means from that moment further unless they were able to provide a claim as in like a, a piece of paper that states that somebody is making a, a statement about you of where you caused them harm like the complaint cannot, like the pretend complaint yeah. Oh, I don't know if we even yeah. got that on the video, but there's a whole section where my brother was on the phone hours later. You know, it's like, why did yeah. you knock on my door? And the officer refused to yeah. say it. And then he says, we got complaints. Okay, what's the complaint? And then he's like, well, I'll get yeah. that to you later. And I just, it was a fucking yeah. shit show. And that, that would be that, wait till we, that video comes out one day. <laughs> uh, I love it. 
By the way, hey, Officer hey, Herbs, I know who you are now. That's fine. I saw that you spoke to the watch commander. Yeah, so we'll I'm wait for him. I was going to give it to you on paper, but it's just as fine. So the tow has been called. What you need to understand at this moment, sir, is because your vehicle's a dually, and because your vehicle is a camper, your tow is going to be about $350 at your expense. Just so that you're aware. To that, because you failed, please don't put that in my eyes, sir. Please don't put that in my eyes, sir. Two can play at this game. So I'm, I'm tilting it down. I'm tilting so it down. This is your opportunity to leave so that you don't have to incur a Sorry, you are, are scaring me. I'm not I going have, outside. Uh, I'm not going outside. I'm not going outside to talk okay, to you because you are threatening. You're going to have to get out of your vehicle for the tow. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? My question is, why did you knock on my door at 7.51 p.m.? Uh, okay. What is your question in regards to that? I had a file. I'm attending a file. Why? You were spoken to repeatedly. By whom? By security. When? All of this is on video. When was I spoken to we're by security? We're not having the same conversation No, I'm times. asking you a question. You just okay. you just said I was spoken to by security. So you, sir, are exhausting a lot of resources? No, no, no. Just answer knocking? the question. Don't be like O'Toole. Answer the question. If you don't we'll call answer, me names, we'll answer his question. be respectful. We'll answer his questions. Don't be, answer his questions. Be, be respectful. Okay. What's his question? Yeah. Go ahead. Why did you knock on my door at 751 and what security or bylaw did you say came and knocked on my door? Because I can tell you there was nobody before you and those two by, or two security were at the door. That was the first I've seen of anybody and obviously I answered my door. So what bylaw, what are their names? Who knocked on the door and why? You, you've collected everyone's names here that's on shift today. No, no, no. With respect oh. to this issue. Why did you not? I had a complaint. Okay, from whom? For the fourth time. I the had fourth a time when? What do you mean? Today. That I'm responding to? I'm allowed to? to park here and leave and come back and park here. Okay, great. What's, what's illegal about that? That's not what we're debating. So, okay, it, the story, simple, I'm so gonna simplify I it. I have a complaint. What's I'm the complaint? complaint? What's the complaint? You. It, it's available for you. What is the we're complaint? <laughs> What's the complaint? What's the, but we've already explained this. No, no, I don't know what the complaint is. I don't know why you knocked on my door. You're parked here. You're unwelcome here. Unwelcome? Correct. Definition of unwelcome here. According to the free dictionary, not welcome or wanted, undesirable, undesired, uninvited, unsought, unwanted, unwished for. I don't know why you knocked on my door. You're parked here. You're unwelcome here. Unwelcome? Correct. Were you discriminating against me? I don't understand. Yeah. How am I not welcome here? I am. See, I am. I live problem, in Kelowna. Sir. We're trying to have dialogue. We're trying to achieve this at the lowest level of intervention. You're acting you like a politician, sir. Please so answer the question. Just for your likes on your video. Why? So are you no, no, no. I am. I am not happy about this. Yeah. Is very stressful. That's fine, sir. Okay. Why? I'm not here to make you happy. What is the complaint? Job. You. If you I've say there's a complaint. You haven't told me why you knocked on my door. I have. Because I've parked here and I'm allowed to park here as a citizen of Canada and a citizen of Kelowna. So why did you knock on my door? So there are overlapping levels of legislation, okay? There are, there are bylaw offenses of the municipality, then there's provincial legislation, and then there's federal legislation, okay? This, guy's this was explained shit. to you. Just like the fellow on my phone says, you're full of shit, dude. What's the name you on your full phone? Of shit, buddy. What's you're the fellow on your phone's name? Uh, I love it. And the beauty is, is a complaint is very different than a claim. A statement is something made by a man or a woman. A complaint is by somebody who's being emotional. So if they're being emotional, they're conducting commerce. They're in maritime law. A claim is somebody with clear mind, clear... This has occurred. A man who, or even a woman, who is not clear in their emotions and their actions and their intentions, they cannot make a claim because it must be based in reality. And if none of those are present, it, it's not based in reality. It only exists in the mind. Just like, say, if somebody is offended by what you say, that is their responsibility, not yours. It is not a claim at that point. If they are offended, an offense is exactly like a criminal offense. They must accept it. Wow. Take uh, it, not you. Um, yeah, this is all great um, information. I'm looking forward to learning more. Um, I'm just stopping off <laughs> at my old man's here to go grab, um, to go meet him for a second. Uh, and um, oh, yeah, and yeah. then I can follow up with you in a little later when I get back on the road here. It won't be very long. Sure. Or, or uh, well, do you mind if I, do you mind if I finish it up? 
Yeah, okay. If at that point they continue, yeah. there's one beautiful thing. This is my favorite part. If the police officer or anyone from that point onward persists in the matter, you state to them they will be billed for illegal detainment for $1,000 per minute, and you have every right to charge them. Yeah, I remember you mentioned so, that earlier, and then, you know, obviously it didn't quite, just like the detainment, like I was detained, I couldn't leave. Yeah. Everyone's like, why don't you just leave? Yeah. No, I was detained because I couldn't go outside for fear of yeah. illegal action against <laughs> yeah. me. It's yeah, that, it's exactly. that simple. So, I just want to leave you with that exciting bit because that's the most powerful thing is we now get to turn around and charge them for whatever they did. So, yeah, I just essentially, you're the next I mean we'll talk more and then we're gonna get me this paperwork where I can actually file against the corporations yes. and the person and yes. um, and yes. so then I can read over that and, and figure out how to fill out the paperwork and what do you call it what filing what what am I filing against the corporation of the RCMP and you know the tow truck company and the person so in this document uh, it's what you're doing essentially is making a claim so you're you're stating that you're of clear of mind your clear uh, intent and emotional well-being and you're stating that this has occurred and you have proof that it occurred and you are stating that these individuals and the corporation uh, of which you are ownership of must repair the damage that is okay oh there's my dad right there um <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll give you a call <laughs> back okay bud Sure, yeah. We'll okay. talk more. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Okay, so what can I do for you? Okay, do you have your ID is what I've asked you for? I, I don't need to give you ID. Okay, then I'll be towing your car. So I I'll talk to you through the window. Alright. I'm right here, hold on. I'm back. Well. So what's going on? I've asked you to meet me on the sidewalk. I'm definitely I'm not, not going to have a conversation through the window. Well, I your will, it's cool. currently towable, so I suggest you get it moved and get your front plate attached oh. and visible immediately. Oh, Otherwise, okay. I'll be towing you under that authority under the Motor Vehicle Act oh. of British Columbia. Okay, so what's the problem? I just told you. No, no, I mean, what's the real problem here? I've just told you. No, why are you hassling me? I'm not hassling you, sir. I'm just having some food here. You're not I'm, permitted to be here. You're over over state. How, what's the stay on the street? There's a bylaw. And what is the hour I can park on the street? What's that? What time is it right now? I don't know. You should check on your cell phone that you're recording me with. Yeah, well, I have a, another one around here somewhere. It's certainly not past 11 o'clock. It doesn't need to be past 11 o'clock. You don't know your legislation. Well, I know you're allowed to park on the street. And okay. usually you're allowed to park on any street in Kelowna for 48 hours. No, that's not true. Well, maybe not right at this very spot, but uh, I'm pretty sure. Okay. At this, it's not 11 o'clock so yet, is it? I'm going to allow you 10 minutes to move your vehicle, otherwise it's going to be towed. So you, and you also need to have a front plate visible and mounted okay. on the bumper of your vehicle. I, I'm not your enemy. You're not my enemy. No, why okay. are you, why no are you being a you, enemy right this now? This is a motor vehicle in Canada, in British Columbia, and it needs to have a front plate mounted in order to comply with ICBC legislation. Okay, well there should be a front plate, so I'll go check on that when I get going. There's no front plate. I'm, I'm not camping here, it's the day. I was just it's here in the... It's not day, it's dark. It gets dark in the winter at like 4 o'clock and now 5 probably. What time is it now? I don't know, I was just on the phone. Okay. Why don't you please tell me what time it is? It's 8.09 p.m. It's 8.09 p.m. Correct. So why can't I be here at 8.09, uh, mister, over there? Why are you talking to him? I'm talking to you. Oh, because you're not actually talking to me. You're just being negative towards so me. So I'm going to start a timer so that we can all be lawful. So, if you like, you can uh, so, record this on your So, because you work for the city over there, why am I not allowed parking here? here? Put that in your camera. So you have a 10-minute yeah. timer. What's your name? My name? What's your badge number? To you when you provide me What's your, your name and badge number? My name's available to you out here. What's your name and badge number? Did you not hear what I just said to you? I said, I'm asking you the question. Okay, What's that's your fine. name and badge number, please? Okay, you you failed to comply with me, so I'm failing to comply with you until you meet me out here. I've done nothing illegal. I'm parked on true. public streets. That's not true. You have done something illegal. What have I done illegal? I've already explained it to you. No. The, the front plate is not a so criminal the offense. The, the front timer? plate is not a criminal offense. We're Stop acting crimes. like a child. I just told you Motor Vehicle Act. What is your name, sir? You're going to be on YouTube if you keep this That's up. That's fine. 
I like YouTube. All right, why don't you show more, me your face and be I've human? I've got more fans than you do. So here's what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to move your vehicle. Sir, what is your name, please? I'm asking you to move your vehicle. What are you coming video call? Do you understand what I've explained to you? First of all, you know I'm not going to be towed inside here. Okay, Second of down. all, you know okay. that <laughs> I haven't done anything illegal. I'm coming call. I got come and call. Where is my other so, camera? So, so what is your name's officer security? Right there. Can you read it? Uh, um, S R R W R A I T H. Are you a police as well? I'm security for the city of Kelowna. Okay, can you please explain to me, because I'm really confused why this officer is here. So you've been camped here since 10 o'clock this morning with the protesting group. And I well not camping. Yeah. I've parked here. Yes. So we're, we're we're coming here to let you. We were coming here to let you know that uh, I can move. Yeah. PM, if you're still here tomorrow morning, it's a bylaw offense. You okay. Can, you cannot camp on any city street overnight. Okay. So I'm not camping. This officer. You, know what? <laughs> you should tell him I'm not camping. That's his discretion. I know. He's right. just being a fucking asshole. It's such a shame, right? And I, I mean, I, well, that's that's I mean, his prerogative. He's, he's dealing with you under the motor vehicle act. I'm dealing with you under the bylaw. Right, city okay, so, so so why didn't you just come over here earlier? Why is he even here? What's that? Why is he here? I guess is my well, question. Because you're parked on the street, right? It's not my jurisdiction on the street. So so you're you're actually serious? I'm not allowed to park here past ten o'clock. If you camp here overnight, it's a bylaw offense. Okay, yeah, I know. So I know I'm allowed to be here, and I know I'm not allowed to camp here overnight, right? So. Like, is there something else going on here? Like, yeah. why is he harassing me? Know. Why are you... Officer, you better tell me your name. Why are you harassing me and what is your name? I have a lawful authority to request identification. You have failed... No, you don't. Me. You need probable cause to ask for identification. That's, I'm not driving the vehicle. That's not true at all. So what you need to understand... Oh my God, you don't know you shit, dude. Yourself. Okay, so no problem. The tow's on the way. Yeah, good luck. No problem. It's being towed at your expense. No, good yeah. luck with that. I already have my photo evidence. Nope, that I'm no, parked no. on the street at fucking 10 o'clock. I'm not concerned with parking. What is your name? Tell me your name. Why are you getting angry? Because you are causing a disturbance in I'm Kelowna. I am a lawful, humble person here in my RV yes. on the city of Kelowna. I am allowed to and be you're here. you to comply with the Motor Vehicle Act of British Columbia? I don't know where it's going on my front plate. It should be right on there. Okay, come look. I'm not getting outside so you can do some unlawful, unjust things because the way you're acting, that's what you plan to do or wish you could do. Okay. That's great. So when you post What is your name? YouTube, what is your name? A lawyer can give you Can you advice. tell me what this guy's name is, guys? I couldn't tell you. You don't you don't know what this officer's name is. So you can have my name when you get out of the vehicle. We can look at your plate and deal with this like adults. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Fuck me. Yeah. So you're giving me the middle finger on your YouTube video. Yeah, because you, you deserve it. You deserve it. I deserve it. Okay. Fine. The way no you... Problem, I you're didn't come and bug opinion. you. I didn't come and bug you. Okay. You came over here, knocked on my door very loudly. Very loudly. Was that aggressive, perhaps? Well, those doors are very thin. Oh, you probably knocked really? on a lot, so it sounds yeah. really loud. You enjoy your little commentary. The tow will be here and we'll yeah. get you moved. And then at that time, I'm sure you're going to change your behavior. And then you're going to provide me your ID and we'll get you to install your plate so that you're lawful. And then you can be on your way. Yeah. But if you'd like to be difficult, I can write you a ticket for having a plate that's not visible from the rear of your vehicle and another one for the, the front of your vehicle. And then if you fail to provide me your identification, that's another offense. Okay, Fuck you, dude. No you're a piece of shit. This is what we got for fucking cops here. What a dickhead, huh? Because I got the Canadian flags on the back. I got the Canadian flags on the back. Fucking officer. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on this fucker. Yeah, guys, what time is it? In my RV. Just having a conversation. 814. It's 814, you stupid piece of. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I am Marcel Ernie. This is Kelowna, BC. 814. 814. I'm getting hassled at 814. I'm allowed to be on the street. What a dickhead. So, um, yeah, we'll make this uh, interesting video. Dickhead Police Kelowna. Terrible human being. Terrible human being. <laughs> Back up, Beaver. That sounds hard. Uh, the only rule is that a person is not allowed to camp overnight in a trailer on, or in a, sorry, in a vehicle 
Yeah. On like, city property. Essentially, like... I think that's maybe what they were trying to avoid you doing. Um, so... Have you sp sorry to interrupt. Have you spoken to bylaws? The bylaw guys, well, they have security on their badges. Um, they're, they're saying, you know, bylaw security, I think it's the same. I'm not sure. No, it's not. We do have... Um, we oh, have okay. Security. So it's different then. We have security here, bylaw, and RCMP. So I don't know if I've talked to a direct bylaw guy or not. Okay. Um... Because they always had security in their badge. So he, one guy, I'm like, show me this rule. He's saying, because I'm in a domicile. Hello. Let's try to have a nice civil conversation here. Yes. Can I start with your ID, please? No, you cannot. Are you failing to produce ID? I have no, you don't have reasonable ground to ask me for ID. I do, sir. You're here after 9 p.m., which is taking up a boat. So I need your ID so I can write you the ticket under the traffic well, bylaw that I warned you about. You're going to do what you think is necessary, okay? I am fearing for my life and I have called, I, I fear what this person is, this, this guy over there. And so I've called the RCMP and I'm okay. waiting for um, the captain, uh, the watch commander to call me back. Okay. So well, in the meantime, can I do my job, please? You're, you could, I mean, your job is your job, dude. You can so do I whatever you do. ID. Okay. You're not getting my ID. Okay, I'm not giving you an idea. You do not have probable grounds or, or lawful grounds to get my ID. Sir, you're taking up a boat on a city street. I'm taking up a boat. Oh my God. Oh, run for the hills, okay. dude. Whatever. It's a ticketable offense under the traffic bylaw. Okay, that's and your that's your prerogative. To, in order to do that, I need your ID. Okay, I'm... And if you're failing to produce your ID... Show me the traffic ordinance in the book. Send me the traffic ordinance because I, I don't have to send you anything, I, well, sir. Well, and I don't have to give you my name, the sir. The traffic bylaw is very clear. Section 4.1.2W. Uh, I'll grab a flashlight. Okay. Um, Take up a boat. Where's a flashlight? Here, we'll get a flashlight for you. Four point one point two W. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it's, I can't find oh, so, exactly where it is. Okay, I'm reading four point. Sorry, four point what? One point two W. Four point. Right okay, yeah, it's just up higher. Four point one two. Oh, I see. M O O P. Can you just pass me the book? I'm no, not, I can't. I'm not going to steal is it. Like right in here. Oh my God. Okay. N O no W's R F. I don't see no W, sorry. I don't see a W. Uh, it's my desire to see you on your way. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, this is a waste of... And, it's a... my desire to see you in your driver's seat and on the way as quick as we can possibly make that mm -hmm. happen. Okay? I would really appreciate um, that. Let me see what business he has that needs to be tidied up from his end of things. Mm -hmm. And if he has any tickets or if he has enforcement or parking tickets or things like that that he wants to discuss with you, is it okay if he comes over and has that conversation with me here to explain what his ideas or do you want me in the middle of this I um i don't want to talk to him alone because we haven't got anywhere like that so if you would like to have a three-way conversation that that's what i offered I'll, yeah. I'll stay here yeah yeah so can, you can bring him over explain to you and you can explain and we'll do it back and forth okay and we um, can uh, alleviate this yeah we can alleviate the scenario and get me on my way and uh and safe and sound and then uh, okay and just not... hang up for one sec i'm just gonna go chat with him i'll be right back okay okay yeah see this is working perfectly. Holy smokes. Yeah, see, Hull seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, the Hull seems reasonable, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just try to work something out and then everybody goes on their way and that'll be the end of it, right? Holy crap, this is nuts, huh? Yeah, Kelowna is definitely becoming more of a military state. Yeah, so he just confirmed, like, it's just camping. You're allowed to park here. They're just yeah. they're making everything up. This is insane, dude. Yeah, so this whole thing is a misunderstanding. He probably came over just with it in his head that you were camping there without even... But it's 7.50. You, know, you, know, you, know, you know when you get something stuck in your head type of thing? That's probably what happened. No, or, no, it's great. Well, I think no, Matt. He, he is... Anyways, he was agitated. He was coming at me, yeah. Yeah, he could be in that. He could be a pro government guy. Who knows, right? He could be a company man. You don't know. Well, Karen's calling me. Or he's, having a, bad, or he's yeah. having a bad day. Yeah, something insane in the membrane. Yeah, but yeah, I know. It sounds like things are going. Just work something out and try and clarify what the actual rules are, and then everybody goes home on their way. Okay. Should I answer Karen, or just I should probably stay on the phone with you? I'll text her. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. 
So what are, what are they doing? Are they chatting out there? Yeah, and he's telling them about he's trying to give me all these tickets and stuff. Yeah, so they're trying to work something out. I bet the cops just like, you know, let's just put this to bed. And hopefully what he's doing, right? Okay, here, I, I gotta I gotta talk with these guys. Okay. Hi, Marcel. So like I said, he'll explain to you his side of the business that's gone on here. And I'm here with you, so I'll mediate any conversation and make sure that things are just peaceful and and uh, somewhat okay. reasonable between you, all right? Perfect, perfect. Excellent. So do you have your photo ID that I can see? Um, you don't have probable reason for my photo ID, sir. I do. I've explained that to you. I'm going to be serving you tickets under the Motor Vehicle Act as well as the Motor Vehicle Regulations of British Columbia and so I have a lawful authority to do that and it's actually an offense not to provide the license in hand when requested by a police officer. I'm not, I'm not in my vehicle driving so um, you have no probable cause to ask for my ID sir. So we certainly disagree on that point. Okay. I have photographic and video evidence for my case. That I'm driving? I'm not driving. so. You're occupying a vehicle. It's a different offense. If you want to give me a ticket, no, 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 I'm giving you the ticket either way. So if you want to give me the ticket for front plate, that's fine. Um, no, it's not just for that. You also require a red flag and then refuse to provide the ID in hand. So there's three offenses. Further to that, you owe the tow truck driver money now. So you're not free to go until you've satisfied the tow truck obligation, right? And then you have the bylaw ticket on your front windshield, sir. So all of this was explained okay, to Okay, so the bylaw ticket's on the window. That's fine. Correct. I can always dispute that. Okay. Um, this front plate ticket, well, whether you can give it to me if I'm driving a vehicle. Right now, this vehicle is just on the side of the road. It's on a highway in British Columbia. It's, by the it, it's of in the, the city of Kelowna, sure. And um, so, so you can do what you want to do. Um, I and I don't know whether it's legit or not. Um, obviously, my question is, why did you knock on my door at 7.51 p.m.? Uh, okay. What is your question in regards to that? I had a file. I'm attending a file. Why? You were spoken to repeatedly. By whom? 